Hey garden enthusiasts, today we're diving into the 7 deadly sins of pruning. Make sure to watch until the end to avoid these common mistakes and keep your garden thriving. Pruning is not about punishment, it's about understanding the needs of your plants and guiding them towards a healthier, happier existence. Just like a good haircut can rejuvenate you, a proper prune can rejuvenate your plants, encourage new growth, and even increase their yield. Let's uncover these 7 deadly sins of pruning so you can keep your plants healthy and happy. Ah, uh, the first and perhaps most common sin pruning at the wrong time. Timing is everything when it comes to pruning. Pruning stimulates new growth, and if you prune too late in the season, that tender new growth won't have time to harden off before the cold weather sets in. So, when is the right time to prune? As a general rule, late winter or early spring is ideal for most shrubs and trees. This allows them to recover quickly and make the most of the growing season ahead. For spring flowering shrubs like lilacs and forsythia, prune just after they bloom to encourage a bountiful display next year. Now let's move on to sin number two. Now let's talk about tools. A good gardener knows that their tools are an extension of themselves. Sin number two is using dull tools. Using dull pruners is like trying to cut a piece of paper with a butter knife. It's messy, difficult, and bound to cause damage. Dull blades crush and tear rather than make clean cuts, leaving wounds that are slow to heal and susceptible to disease. Imagine a surgeon operating with a rusty scalpel. Your plants deserve better. Always make sure your pruners, loppers, and saws are sharp and clean before each use. A quick sharpen with a file or sharpening stone can make all the difference. Now let's look at the next sin. This next sin is a bit technical but crucial for the health of your plants. We're talking about the branch collar, that slightly swollen area where a branch meets the trunk or a larger limb. Number three is making flush cuts, or cutting right through that all-important branch collar. When you make a flush cut, you're interfering with the plant's natural healing process. This can leave the plant vulnerable to disease and decay, and it can also slow down the growth of new shoots. Always leave the branch collar intact to promote proper healing. Flush cuts can damage your tree and slow down recovery. Sin number four is a common one, especially amongst enthusiastic gardeners over pruning. It's understandable to want to give your plants a good tidy up, but remember, less is often more when it comes to pruning. Plants need their leaves to photosynthesize and produce energy. Removing too much foliage at once starves the plant of its food source. Over pruning can weaken the plant making it more susceptible to pests, diseases, and environmental stresses. Think of it like this. If you were to suddenly have a large portion of your meals taken away, you'd feel pretty depleted, wouldn't you? Your plants are no different. Stick to pruning no more than 25% of the plant's foliage in one go. Now let's move on to the next sin. This next sin is a bit of a pet peeve of mine, topping trees. Topping trees or simply chopping off the top of a tree to reduce its height, is not only unsightly but also incredibly harmful to the tree. This can lead to weak spindly branches and increased disease risk. Opt for thinning or crown reduction instead. When you top a tree, you're creating large open wounds that are difficult for the tree to heal, becoming entry points for disease and decay. If you need to reduce the height of a tree, there are far better methods, such as crown reduction or thinning, that will maintain the tree's natural shape and health. Sin number six might seem like a small detail, but it's one that can have big consequences for the health of your plants. Leaving stubs or short lengths of branch protruding from the trunk or main branches is like leaving a door wide open for pests and diseases. These stubs are essentially dead wood, providing the perfect breeding ground for all sorts of unwanted guests. Always make clean cuts just outside the branch collar, ensuring that no stubs are left behind. Now let's move on to the final sin. And finally, we come to the seventh deadly sin of pruning, and it's perhaps the most important one of all, ignoring safety. Gardening should be an enjoyable and rewarding experience, not one that lands you in the hospital. Always prioritize safety when pruning, especially when dealing with tall trees or large branches. Wear appropriate protective gear, such as gloves, safety glasses, and sturdy footwear. Use the right tools for the job and make sure they are in good working order. If you're ever unsure about a particular pruning task, don't hesitate to call in a qualified arborist or tree surgeon. Now, let's wrap things up. Pruning doesn't have to be a daunting task. 
By understanding the needs of your plants and following these simple tips, you can keep your garden healthy, vibrant, and full of life. By avoiding these seven deadly sins, you'll ensure a healthy, vibrant garden. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more gardening tips. Happy pruning!